Okay, another math video from AlgebraTestHelper.com. And what we're going to do here is an equation that involves some fractions. Now, this is going to be a pretty, pretty uh, basic or introduction uh, type of uh, problem that we're going to focus on. We're going to do a ton more, so please make sure you come by AlgebraTestHelper.com and get all that free help that we're uh, given to the world, all designed to make math easier to learn. So let's go ahead and talk about this problem here. Um, so students hate fractions that I know okay uh, and I can understand why it's they're kind of you know um, a little bit of a pain to work with but but here's the thing let's not discriminate against fractions you know fractions are numbers too so it's like hey look just because I'm a fraction you know you know you can you could still use me you know <laughs> that kind of thing and all your your equations and everything you're gonna do in algebra and beyond um, are going to start likely involving a lot more fractions. So you need to know how to deal with fractions. So my first point that I want to make here is if you don't know how to add, subtract, multiply, and divide fractions or reduce a fraction, you need to immediately stop and review um, how, to, how to deal with fractions because you're going to have to use them over and over again. It's not enough to just have a calculator and uh, convert fractions to decimals. That's an absolute no-no. You're going to have to be able to deal with them. But anyways, so that aside, um, just because you have a fraction, you're going to be doing the same steps as, uh, when we're solving this equation as if we, we didn't have a fraction. Okay, It's just going to make it a little bit more involved, uh, but no big deal. All right, so what's the first thing we have to do? So in an equation, and you, if you have these parentheses here, okay, if you have parentheses in an equation uh, surrounding something, that's a good indication that you're going to have to use a distributive property. So those parts of your equation you want to do first before you do anything else. So right here I'm going to distribute the 1 half to the 6x and minus 3. So that's going to be 1 half times 6x. I'm going to write this out in a long uh, manner just to make my point here. So it's 1 half times 6x minus 1 half times 3 equals 4x plus 1 third. Okay, so no big deal, um, but now, once again, we, I'm assuming that you know how to multiply fractions. So what's 1 half times 6x, right? So this is nothing more than a fraction 1 half times 6 over 1 times x, okay? Uh, so 1 half times 6 is, of course, going to be 3x, so I'll write that here, minus 1 half times 3, or 3 over 1, is nothing but 3 halves. Okay, so 3 x minus 3 halves equals 4x plus 1 third. Okay, no big deal. So if you got that first step, then you're, then you're uh, well on your way of getting this right. So the next thing we want to do is we want to uh, get all of our variables to the left and all of our numbers to the right. So here, let's go ahead and take care of this 4x. I don't want it on the right-hand side. I want it on the left-hand side with this 3x. So I'm going to subtract 4x from both sides of the equation. And by the way, if you're a little bit lost, you might want to um, stop watching this video and go back to more basic equations, okay? Because it's the same steps. Just here, we're involving fractions. So if you're not quite sure why, why I'm doing something, you might want to go back and review some more basic equations. But here, I'm going to be subtracting 4x from both sides of the equation. And I get negative 1x minus 3 halves equals 1 third. All right, so we're really close to solving for x. Now the next thing I need to do is to get this number, this negative 3 halves, over to the right-hand side of the equation. So I'm going to add 3 halves to both sides of the equation. Okay, so that gives me negative 1x equals. Now this is where you need to stop and kind of do your um, work off to the side. I need to know what 1 third plus 3 halves is. So let's do this right here. 1 third plus 3 halves. Okay, so I'm going to challenge you to pause the video and see if you can get that answer. Okay, so if you can't get this answer, if you can't do this problem, then you know uh, you need to go back and review how to do uh, fractions. Okay, and by the way, there's a great video at our site, um, Algebra Test Helper, on uh, the easy ways to add and subtract fractions. So the answer is going to be. 2 plus, let's see here, 2 plus 9 over 6. So that's going to be 11 over 6. So if you have 11, 6 as your answer, I congratulate you. You're all set. Okay. 
So one third plus three halves, one third plus three halves was 11 six. Okay. So now to solve for X, am I done? I'm almost done. I have negative X. I want positive X. So I have to divide both sides of the equation by negative one. And that gives me X equals a negative 11 over six. So that's my solution. And some of you might feel compelled to try to, uh, write this as a uh, mixed number. No need to do that. Okay, you can leave it as an improper fraction, but you always want to uh, simplify or fully reduce um, your answers. So just a quick practice problem. Some, uh, I mean, I don't know how quick it was. You can see the amount of work here. And that brings me to my last point. You want to show all your work, okay? And all this fraction stuff do off to the side. So you should be able to go back and read all your steps. And of course, you're, you want to be able to show your teacher that you know what you're doing to get maximum points here. So um, hopefully this video helps you out. Please come to our site, algebratesthelper.com. We have tons more uh, practice uh, problems and videos, tutorials, all free, all designed to make math easy to learn. All right, so good luck. Hope to see you soon.